today you're going to see three different Goodwill hauls. We started at the Goodwill outlet in Boston, which is on Harrison Boulevard, I believe, and there is a retail location attached to that. Then we went over to Hyde Park, and then we ended with Jamaica Plain. I have a bag from each place. Let's get into it. Okay, we just left the bins. We're going into Goodwill now. I think that's so pretty. I think she'd love that. Is, oh, and look at the board. It, I thought the board would be good, like if she had guests, yeah. like for a little charcuterie. So pretty. Our friend Marguerite just bought um, a house on the lake, so we're getting her some pretty things. Yes. I never even saw your village. Is it still up? It is. Okay, we have Fezziwigs Warehouse. Ooh. Oh, good. It's all Ch Dickens Village. village. Oliver, Oliver Twist. Twist. Old Curiosity Shop. They're the all, looks house. like they're $9. Orange is the new color. I love Fezziwig. Oh Fezziwig Square House. Well, you're the village person. <laughs> Get it? I have Dickens. Let's run some comps. The Old Curiosity Shop, too. I've never seen Gloria Estefan. They have it priced at $10. Otherwise, I might go for it. I mean, some of the comps are $39. 29. All right, it was a very quick trip here, but I got these Faridays, new with tag, Abercrombie, I'm backwards here, Pilfro, new with tag, Marine Layer, Zara, Scotch and Soda, this Disney sweatshirt Kim found that looks really interesting. Um, we got some stuff for our friend Mark and Franklin Cubby. It's always hard for me to transition from bins pricing to regular thrift store pricing. And when you do it like back to back, I'm always like, okay, it takes me a while to find my rhythm. This is a sweater that I absolutely love. It's new with tag from Nordstrom Rack and it's H by Halston. No, H by Bordeaux. I'm sorry. There you go. There's the H. How pretty is this? It's this beautiful like winter white and it's ribbed, dolman sleeves. Um, I think it's an extra large. I hope it's an extra large. It is, it's an extra large. Retailed for $78 at Nordstrom. At the rack, it was $29.97. I don't even know the way the rack works anymore. Do these items even come from Nordstrom or are they direct to the rack? I don't know, but I really love it. So keep in mind, I am selling on Whatnot these days, which is getting me into a little bit of trouble because I tend to pick up more if I'm always like, oh, well, I can sell it on Whatnot. And I don't wanna just pick up things Things because everything costs money that I take home. It costs time and money to process it, to pay Tina, to photograph it and measure it. So I wanna make sure that I'm making good choices. I do have some stats though from every store. So let me read those to you. Harrison, I got 11 items. I spent $58, cost of goods, 527. Hyde Park, I got 23 items. I, I, I got a couple handbags there. I spent $130 but my cost of goods was still just $5.67. I got a lot of half off items there. And Jamaica Plain, 19 items, I spent $84. My cost of goods was just $4.43. So much less expensive at Goodwill versus Savers. And so right now we are going to see the 11 items from Harrison, started with that one. I'm dying to um, wash this and get more information about this and pray that the stains come out. There's a lot going on with this one. This is, a sweatshirt that Kim found. Disney Cartoons presents Silly Symphony, The Skeleton Dance. There are some $90 comps on sweatshirts like this. So if you're a Disney person, let me know in the comments what you think. It is Disney branded, but see how there's this like white here and then there's another stain at the bottom. This was not a half off item. I always have to look up Disney stuff because you just never know what's gonna hit. You never know what's going to be like a rare one. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh, the skeleton dance. It's not anything that I'm super familiar with. So it seemed like it could be a little bit of a rare piece. There are some different styles of this sweatshirt that didn't sell for as much. So we'll have to see, but that, definitely has to get washed. This was a great pickup, I thought. I found this at the back of the store. I love to pick up Franklin Covey. This was just $4.99. Uh, that was the price. It wasn't on sale there. Hate when they put the sticker right on the leather. It is in beautiful condition. Look at the corners of this. You know I'm a big planner girl. It's like brand new. It's so amazing. Franklin Covey. I usually find these and they have a little bit of wear. This looks like it was never used. Like the inserts aren't in here. It's absolutely beautiful. 
we are also heading into February. I'm really excited about this and I love that it's just in time for Valentine's Day. So very excited to get this one listed. Franklin Coveys run the whole gamut. I actually sold two Franklin Coveys in the month of January, which is no surprise because that's when planner people are looking to purchase their new planners for the new year. So I want to get this listed right away. It's absolutely beautiful. This next item is a beautiful piece that I think I'm sending to my son Anthony, but this also had a stain. It's from Scotch and Soda, and Anthony loves this brand. And this is a size medium. It's got this really nice high neck. And there's a little anchor right here. I don't know if this was the stain right here on the arm. Anyways, I'm gonna wash that and probably send it to Anthony. I was so excited because it's one of his favorite brands and it's very expensive retail. Oh, this was the store that I hit like the mother load with shorts. I was so excited with the shorts I found. I don't even know what possessed me to go look over at shorts. It's not like one of my top selling items, but I don't know, spring is on my mind. These are fantastic. Pilcro, new with tag. Their shorts were $4.99 or $5.49. These all had orange tags, I think, which was the new color. So these were new with tag these Pilcro shorts in a size 28. And I love the stitching right here. And then on the back side, how cute is that? I just love everything about these. So adorable. They look like they'd be comfortable, a good size. All right, next up are these marine layer shorts in this pink color. Here's the tag, just very basic shorts. These look pretty little. They are a size small, lightweight, Marine Layer is a brand that I love to pick up, but it can sit for a while, but I still think it's a great brand. It's one that I have a hard time saying no to. And shorts are also so easy to photograph. I really take that in, into consideration. How long is it gonna take to photograph and list this item? Is it going to take up a lot of space in my inventory? Certain sweaters I'll pick up, and they need a lot of work. They need sweater shaving. If they're wool, I have to look and see if there's a hole. They take up a lot of space. Is my return gonna be as good? These types of items are just so easy to photograph and store, um, but you also have to look at the numbers. These are Faraday, which is one of my favorite brands to pick up. So these are the Tandoori Spice Shorts. Look at the MSRP on these, $118. These cost five bucks or $5 and change. Look at how adorable these shorts are. They're really lightweight. They have the front pockets. They're just adorable and they're new with tag. I just couldn't believe the new with tag stuff. And these were from Abercrombie, also new with tag. It's just crazy, the amount of new stuff that I got in Boston, I couldn't believe. Uh, what is the price on these? $60. These are Abercrombie and Fitch denim shorts. The reason I'm so excited about these is because they're a size 34. So they are a size 18 which I don't know that I've ever found plus size from Abercrombie. I don't know how long they've been doing plus size, but how cute are these? They are cutoffs, new with tags, 60 bucks. I mean, if I got $30 for each pair of these, that would be fantastic. That'd be $120 for like a $22 investment. So really pumped about the shorts that I found in Boston. We got this blanket for my friend Marguerite. We go away every year to the Berkshires to celebrate Marguerite's birthday. She has a place out there. We've been doing this for about a decade, spending time up in the Berkshires and we're going this weekend. So Kim and I thought it would be fun to thrift Marguerite some of her stuff. So we got this new with tag blanket. She just bought a lake house. She's been decorating it and it's just been this fun, clean slate that she has. We think that this would be beautiful for her lake house. So we picked that up to give to her this weekend. I think by the time that this goes live, we'll be home from the Berkshires. And then I picked up this little Zara sweater. Isn't this so adorable? Kim found this. I leave a lot of Zara behind. I thought this was just so adorable. Kind of has like grandma core vibes, cottage core. You know, I don't really follow the cores anymore. Although Angelina called me this weekend and she's like, mom, she had deleted TikTok. She goes back and forth when she's trying to like get in the zone, she'll delete apps. She's like, I had TikTok deleted for so long and I just reinstalled it. And now I know all the trends I can share with you. So one of the trends she talked about is mob wife core or I don't know if it's a core or whatever, but just the aesthetic mob wife. And I just had to laugh because I grew up in a very Italian American community 
and when we went to prom there were three girls that we went with all of our boyfriends my husband was one of them I dated Jay in high school but my friend her last name was Savatelli and then the guy that she went to prom with his last name was Icaboni and then another friend Vinos she was Greek she went with Tantillo and my maiden name was Salvi so it was the funniest thing we used to joke about all the names but anyway mob wife aesthetic is coming back so I'm picturing like dark lipstick high hair leopard fur help me out if you know about this aesthetic i need to research it but i'm laughing because i could definitely go in my closet and find a lot of material from the 90s that would be perfect for this aesthetic so i'm kind of excited about that this is nothing like mob wife aesthetic <laughs> but i think that could be a really fun one anyways this is really beautiful I think it's going to be gorgeous for the spring. It would be so cute with some shorts. That's it. That's all I bought in Boston at the Harrison Boulevard location. I just looked at the clock and I have to go soon. I have a dermatologist appointment. I had these marks on my hand, TMI. I was really worried about them. I never go to the dermatologist. My daughter literally called for me and was like, my mom needs an appointment because she was mad at me because I wasn't going. I had these like, it almost looked like ringworms. So I was really embarrassed. I'm like, did I get this from the bins? Don't worry, it was not ringworm. But I got there and the first thing she asked me is if I had a thyroid condition and I have Hashimoto, I have hypothyroid and I have forever. I don't know if I've ever shared that. Anyways, she's like, this is like a random thing that happens sometimes when you have thyroid. I'm like, that is so weird. She put me on a steroid cream and they're gone. But I was really self-conscious about it because I'm always like showing things in my video. The steroid cream worked really well, although now my hands are super dry in that area. But that's why I have to go. So I'm gonna show you stuff from Hyde Park and then I'll have to finish the video later. Now we are at just Goodwill in Hyde Park. It's later in the day though, it's 2.51. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're gonna find. This is kind of a hot spot. So let's go in and see if there's anything left for us, Kim. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this Goodwill is the music, but it's super loud. This is an untucked shirt that I picked up. Um, I love Mary Mecco and I've never seen this collaboration. It looks like an older piece. I did see a good comp, so I grabbed that. This is a Prada jacket that Kim found. Um, it was definitely more hunting going on on this day. This is a very beat up spiritual gangster piece. Had some running on it. I like spiritual gangster, but it really doesn't sell like it used to. That was yellow tag, which meant it was half off. So I was giving it a good look. Um, in here, I have a Sweaty Betty sweatshirt, which is really cute. I don't think that was on sale, but I enjoy that brand. And I loved this Duncan sweatshirt, but the zipper was broken. So I left that, that behind. Here's the Prada. Has lots of staining, but we got a pretty good deal. So I decided to take it home and wash it and see how it came out. It's February now, and by this time, many of us have given up on some of our New Year's resolutions, but one change that is super easy to make is changing the way you wash your laundry. This is a change that will help you, it will help the environment, it will save space and money. When I first started using Earth Breeze, one of the big things for me was being able to send this small packaging with my college-age students to school so they didn't have to lug the big jugs and heavy, gooey stuff. I also love that Earth Breeze is dermatologist tested and it's free of dyes and bleach. The more I use Earth Breeze, the more I love it. The packaging is compact and easy to use. I just grabbed this because as many of you know, we just got a new living room set. And so we washed all of the blankets that were on the couch just for like a fresh reset. And Earth Breeze makes everything smell so good. You can choose between unscented or fresh scent. I always get the fresh scent because I love the way that it smells. The best part is you'll never run out of detergent again. They have a flexible subscription that you can adjust, pause, or cancel at any time with no hidden fees. You'll save a whopping 40% when you subscribe and shipping is always free. And it arrives to you in this little slim cardboard package, so easy and compact. You just pull off the back tab. This is what the sheets look like. If I have an extra large load, sometimes I will use two sheets. If it's a small load, I can 
tear it right in half and just use half a sheet. I've also started to use a little portion or a corner of this to like rub into an area. I'll wet the fabric and then I'll rub this on as like a little pre-treat and then just toss it in. It couldn't be any easier. Just toss one of these into your wash and watch it dissolve in either cold or hot water. It's perfect for every load I have. I use it on the gym clothes. I use it on my bedding. It smells beautiful every time. So make a change in 2024 that will be good for you and good for the environment. Earth Breeze makes plastic jugs a thing of the past. Earth Breeze also helps people in need. They have donated over 100 million loads of laundry to people who need assistance. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you already love Earth Breeze. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata for 40% off your subscription. If you're not happy with it, just reach out to Earth Breeze. You don't even have to send it back. They will just refund your money. Thanks again to Earth Breeze for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the haul. I'm gonna start with these Allen Edmonds shoes. These show a little bit of wear in the back, like right here, but I'm gonna try to buff these out with you know my Doc Martin Balsam, which is so good. Allen Edmonds shoes can sell for $200. This particular style, um, I can't remember the style name, but I looked it up in the store. These are a loafer. Once we get them cleaned up, we'll have to see. They're a size 10 and a half. This sweater I picked up for a whatnot show. I love this color. I love cardigan sweaters. It's Forever 21 plus, and it was a yellow tag, which meant it was half off. So this was like $2.75 for a brand new sweater. This is a style-based pickup. I love the color. I love that it was new with tag. It's only like a $20 sweater to begin with. Next up is this Iviva sweatshirt. Don't always do great with this, but I really like the scuba hoodies. Iviva was the girls brand for Lululemon. It's no longer in business. So this was kids and it was half off. So I think I paid around $2 for this and it's a size 14. This is a piece from Mary Mecco and Mika Pirainen. Some of these comps were really fantastic. Mary Mecco is a great brand. One of my very favorite dresses in the whole wide world I thrifted, and it's a Mary Mecco dress. This is probably gonna be like a $40 sale, I'm hoping. And I did see some blue and white striped from the same brand that sold for like between $35 and $50. It was a green tag, so I paid full price for that, about $5.50. Kim found this dress, and it's a boutique brand, but I loved the pattern on this. It was new with tag. The brand is Iris Maxi. There's the tag. Isn't this such a beautiful print? I just love the color combination. I love the detail on the trim. It's just adorable. It is a size small. I think I paid $7.99 for that though. That was a little pricey, but I really liked it. This was an untuck it shirt in a size large. I love picking up untuck it. I do like looking at the men's stuff lately. I find some good stuff over there. I picked these up because they were new with tag. At first I was confused because it said Nux here and UX. It's small, purple, like I don't know about this color so much, but then I realized it was new with tag and I saw this. Peloton does collabs all the time. Like you can get Peloton and Lululemon or Peloton and Beyond Yoga. So this was a Peloton Nux collab that usually you buy this stuff on the Peloton website. These are tiny. I am certain someone will like these and I paid about five or $6 for those. So hopefully like a 30, $35 flip on those. I was so excited when I found this. This is Sweaty Betty. This was a full priced item. This is a size medium. And I just thought it was really cute. It looks like a little like a varsity sweater. Isn't that fun? Is it Sweaty Betty London, I'm guessing? Really cute sweater, hoping for like 35 to $40. This is a Madewell sweater. Kim found a couple Madewell sweaters. This is the one I decided to take home. I have sold this sweater a couple of times. It's got a bunch of fabric in it, but alpaca is one of them. And I've sold this a couple times. And this one was in really good condition because sometimes this can you can find this and it can be super pilly. But that sweater has done well for me, even though it's an extra, extra small. I love that it's super neutral, minimal style. So hopefully that does well. Oh. Kim found this. I almost didn't get it, but they, they gave it to me for $2.50. The woman at the register is our friend and she was a love and she's like, how about $2.50? This is Prada. It has a bunch of stains on it. There's a stain right here, but it's a lightweight jacket and there was a stain in a couple other places. It's still Prada. For $2.50, it was definitely worth taking home and washing because it's a jacket, you know? It's like a lightweight jacket. Oh, does the zipper work? I hope the zipper works. Zipper works great. 
made in Italy for $2.50, Prada, sure. And lastly, we got this trip dress. Kim has such a good eye and she, she thought that this was pretty unique. Uh, Trip is a brand that I learned about a couple of years ago. They definitely have a following. I don't know if it's like a like a steampunk brand, but it does well. There were $65 comps on this dress. They have it in black. Oh gosh, here's a price tag on it. It is new with tag, $72. It's an eyelet dress and it's very funky. So I'm pro I will probably price this right at what the tag says for $72 and then we'll see where it goes. So we paid $7.99 for that. And I think that's everything that we got at Hyde Park some real highlights there. We got Prada. The trip dress is definitely going to be a great return. The Allen Edmonds, the Mary Mecco. It was a great stop. We got there later in the day. I think uh, we had done better there in weeks past, but I wasn't sad about this. Let's jump back to our last stop at Jamaica Plain, and then I'll come back after my appointment, let you know how everything went. We'll do the final haul. The sun is setting but we're still thrifting. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna go to Jamaica Plain. I don't know what's gonna be around because they're closing in a couple hours. So I gotta lock my door. That would help. All that thrifted magic in my car. All right, we are back. Now Janet Jackson is serenading me with Miss You Much. First thing I found were these Lululemon pants. Um, you can tell that they're authentic just by the little tag there. They're an older style, they're men's. These sold, I believe, for $25 at my last Whatnot show. I passed on these beta brands. Um, I pass on most beta brands, especially in red and crop. Even though they were half off, I was a little tempted because of Valentine's Day, but I left them behind. Loved this Nike Pro. Um, it was cropped, really cute. That was full price. Love the Martha's Vineyard sweatshirt. These are Abercrombie and Fitch pants, new with tag, beautiful. And yeah, I didn't get too, too much footage. We were toast by the end of the day. We're done. We're done. We're the toast. stores are closing on yes, us and we're toast. Yes, that's true. Otherwise, we'd probably keep going. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. It has been a few hours, and I think you saw another little thrift with me at our last stop, which was Jamaica Plain. We stopped for coffee. We had a nice croissant, and then we headed over to do our final shopping. Um, it was a long day at this point. I really wasn't expecting much at this last location and it ended up being fantastic. So I am back. The doctor said my hands look great. I also went for a pedicure and went to lunch with a friend. So it's been a few hours. When I came back, I realized in my rush to get out of here to make my appointment, I left some stuff that I had picked up at the Hyde Park location. So let me show those items to you. Kim found this Talbot's piece. It was originally $189 on sale for $149. This was not a sale item, but it's this silk, um, like champagne colored tank top that is absolutely beautiful. It has beading on it. Uh, it's really lovely. So I paid, what, like $5? I even think tank tops are a little bit less. So it does have extra beads right here. 100% silk. The shell is silk. The lining is silk. It's a size 12 and it's gorgeous. Um, I would probably list this at about $60, which is, you know, more than two thirds off the original price. It's really beautiful. This was also a good pickup, I think. This is an LK Bennett top. This used to be a huge bolo for me, but this was a yellow tag, which was half off. So this cost $2.50. The original price on this was like $5. It's a nice blouse. It has some ruching here on the sleeve, short sleeve, great for the office. This is also likely silk. It is a USA size four. Looks like it's in excellent condition. I checked all the buttons. It looked really good. This I picked up because I'm a sucker for polo. This is just Polo Ralph Lauren in a size large. It's the Estate Rib. I liked that it had the name on it. I loved the color of this. It seems to be in great condition. I think this is so nice. It's a men's, of course, but it is a large and I have pretty decent luck with Polo Ralph Lauren. So I grabbed that. Kim got this uh, We The Free shirt she handed me, and I believe this was also a discounted one. So I think I'm gonna list this on one of my whatnot shows. It's We The Free, it is a size small. Um, I'm sure I have sold some version of this in some color. It also has a split in the back. So you can wear it open, uh, you can show a little back, or you can wear a tank top. It's a high neck, it's a really beautiful color, and it was a great price. Two more things, oh my gosh, I'm getting all my stores mixed up. 
this was Hyde Park. That's why this was $130. This stop was because I got these two handbags at the checkout. They were both priced at $20. This is a Dooney and Bork and it's in really excellent condition. The woman gave me these for $15 each. We were buying a lot of stuff. She said, would you take them for 15? I said, absolutely. This is a nice top handle with a crossbody option that's also detachable. I love a top handle bag, but when I want to be hands-free, I wanna be hands-free, so I love that option, but you can take that off, pop it inside the bag. And then this is, this is a coach bag, but $15 for this as well. Let's get the coach stamp there. The interior of this is beautiful. Look at the lining of this. If I pull it out, I mean, it looks like nothing was ever placed in this bag. I mean, look at the lining. It's perfect, so pretty. I thought this was a great value for $15. I mean, I'm hoping to get like 50 or 60 at least for each of these. This also has um, a strap that you can wear it as a shoulder bag, which is fantastic. Also has the detachable crossbody, pockets on the side for a water bottle or keys or whatever. It's a really pretty slate blue. I just loved it. I loved it. I'm not really into blue bags either. I thought this was gorgeous. So that's everything from that store. That day is really blending to me at this point. This is eight bells. Oh, this is Kim's. <laughs> Bought this for her son. This is for Mark. I gotta fold that and put it aside for her. When we ended the day, most of the stuff that I bought for Kim was like on top, but then we just couldn't possibly get to everything. So I said, as I go through, I will put aside your thing. So that's for Mark. This is a Martha's Vineyard sweatshirt. Isn't this cute? This was five bucks. I loved it. Great condition. You know, I love to pick up uh, Cape Cod sweatshirts. This is no different. I love Vineyard sweatshirts. There's no tag on it, but I'm pretty certain this is a large or an extra large. I love the color. I was pretty pumped about these. I love, love to sell the brand Ufos. Ufos. I've never found them in a shoe like this before. They're um, like a camo pattern. Look at these. I, these have probably been worn once. They are in excellent, excellent condition. They had them priced for just $7, so sure. Grabbed these. If you've ever worn UFOs, you know how comfortable they are. I'm not, I'm not seeing a size here. Let's see. They are a women's size nine, European 40. Aren't they so adorable? They look smaller than a nine. Maybe it's because they kind of curl up. This should be like a $40 flip, so that was fantastic. This store had a lot of yellow tags, so I did well. Oh, I got this Nike. I'm not always like really into Nike, but isn't this so nice? I loved this top. So when you zip it like this, it says Nike Pro right here. And then it's got this little mesh pattern in the back and it's this nice cinnamon color with like the Sherbert orange contrast and it's like brand new, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's cropped, it just looks like a really new piece and I can't remember the size on it. It is a size small. I, th I thought this was really cute, really love this. Great for post-workout, throwing it on over um, a tank top. This here is also for Kim, uh, man's best friends. Beer and a dog, cute. That's for Kim's boys. Kim's got three sons. This is really pretty. Kim found this and it was a yellow tag. Democracy is a kind of an underrated brand. The embroidery on this, isn't this gorgeous? But also looks like it's a little bit of a cold shoulder, which I, don't always go for, but in this, it's really pretty. It's a size extra small, just beautiful. This I picked up, it's not really my aesthetic, but it's Land's End, it's a 2X, a $99 denim jacket, and it was the half off price, so jackets are $8, so I paid $4 for this, and it's great for summer. Like a nice bright color, just so cute with regular denim with white with khaki size extra large and it was new with tag so it was priced down to $39.99 you know I will remove the hot pink tag and I'll probably list it for 50 so I'll list it for half off the retail and hopefully it will sell for like 30 or 40 I thought it was really nice for four dollars this here is what are you what are you this is Athleta I think yeah this is an Athleta sweater um, this was not on sale, but I loved the cocoon style of it with the fitted sleeves. This just looks so cozy. It's got the little thumb holes. Sweaters were like $5.49. It's gonna be so hard to go back to savers after this. 
It is a size small, and this is definitely some sort of a wool blend. It's really beautiful. We have 80% wool, 20% cashmere. Just gorgeous. Holiday of 18. So a lot of the Athleta tags, Athleta, Madewell, Banana Republic, J. Crew, they all have the date on the back of their tags if it hasn't been ripped off. So you can you can see when it's from. But cashmere and wool, definitely for five dollars. Take that. This was another Athleta, but this was a half off one. This is a medium tall, just a real basic. This will go in a whatnot show. Um, I just think that is cute. This is new with tag and I thought these were fantastic. I might run these by Angelina because they are so nice. This is Abercrombie and Fitch, size medium. There were some good comps on this. I looked this up. They're kind of like these, um, oh God, like a gauzy style wide leg pant. So cute for summer, would be so cute with like just a cropped tank top or a nice, you know, something fitted on top and a pair of sandals. They have pockets, they have a drawstring, they're a beautiful, neutral, minimalist color. Loved these so much. These were like $6.50. I don't know when I'm gonna see Angie. I could always put that in her Easter basket, but chances are I will end up selling those, but I think she would love them. This was something else for a whatnot show. I thought this was really pretty. It was a Vince Camuto. It's a nice color block sweater. I thought that was really nice. Great for Valentine's Day, soft. It's a size medium. I liked the colors in this. I don't know that this would do great listed. Maybe $20 if I listed it, but it was a yellow tag, it was $2.75. I got a lot of great pieces half off, so I really thought that was pretty. This I love too, this was J. Crew, and it was a yellow tag. It's like this crushed velvet. I think this is so pretty, so soft. I love the color here. I mean, a lot of these were just north of bins prices, and they were nice, they were hanging on the rack. So many new with tag items. I don't know when this is from. Fall of 2021, so this is not that old. And it's a great style. I like the pockets on this. And I really like like a quarter zip or a quarter button like that you could just kind of wear. You could layer this. Really pretty, I love that. These were the first thing that I found when I walked into this location. And I was really surprised because it was like 3.30 in the afternoon. And we had already been to three different locations. So I was like, everything's gonna be picked over. And I still found all of this. It just goes to show you there is something for everybody. If you look hard enough, you will always find some good stuff. Anyways, this is Lululemon and they're men's, but this is old, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this octagon shape is an old tag for Lululemon. They have like a wide leg, they have the pockets in the back, drawstring in the front. It's funny because when I first saw them, the thing that drew me to them was this. And I'm like, are those Lulu? Like I didn't look right away. And then you can see right on here, it says uh, Athletica, Lululemon Athletica. So I'm not sure about the size on these. I'll have to hunt. They look to be like a medium or large men, but really nice. It was the first thing I found and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a pretty decent visit. So I really liked these a lot. A couple things left. Oh, this is just a Madewell sweatshirt in black, very basic. I'm pretty sure I have sold this in another color. It's like a cropped hoodie and it's this label, MWL for Madewell. And this was half off, really cute, 275. And lastly, somebody had this on an end cap. Was this yellow? Yeah, so many yellow tags. This is the brand Porridge. I'm pretty sure I've sold pants from Porridge before. Look at the shoulders on this. I love the detail the little um, pleating right there. I thought this was a pretty top. I'm not sure what the comps are on that. But that is everything. Three stops, one day, actually four stops, but you already got the, the Bins Hall. Boston, it's where it's at. It's a pain to park. It's a pain to drive into the city. I don't get there very often, but I think because I've been thrifting a little bit less lately, I take my time and I make a day of it. Got stuff for whatnot, got stuff to list on Poshmark got a few things for myself. It was really fantastic. Always awesome when I'm shopping with Kim. Four eyes are better than two and she always spots some really fun things for me. Most importantly, we always have a really good time. You wanna say hi to everybody? You haven't said hello yet. You haven't said hi. So I think I'm gonna do a listing challenge with my friend Ryan. We haven't solidified um, plans yet, but he's thinking about digging into Thriftless February. This is a thing that I started 
I think four years ago, I just decided I needed a month to just not thrift. My first year, I was buried in a death pile. I just could not see the light of day past all of the items I had. So I'm like, I am going to list, I think that very first year it was like list 200 before I would allow myself to thrift. Now we're not that far behind because I have Tina. So things have changed, but I still think it's worthwhile to take a month off from thrifting and just look around your house. Even if you don't have a death pile, look around your house and see what you have to sell. Or in our case this year, we are gonna continue going bin by bin and deciding what I wanna keep, donate, relist, sell on whatnot, tweak titles. Sorry for the bag in the background. I'm looking forward to a productive month. I'm also gonna be in Mexico in the month of February. So lots going on. Anyways, that's all for today. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Thanks again to Earth Breeze for sponsoring today's video. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off. Love you guys. Bye.